brother against brother men so filled with hatred killing one another and over half good evening and welcome to deliverance church langata this is the biblical perspective program we are happy that you have tuned in whether you watch this from uh, any of our channels the kingdom uh, TV or any other channels that we are on. And uh, with me in the program today is a gentleman, uh, Bishop Dr. Stanley Michuki, a good friend of mine of many years. I look upon him as an elder to me and uh, is a gentleman of tremendous uh, wisdom uh, that comes with experience and age. And uh, Karibu. Thank you. I'm so glad that we could do this together. Well, I don't thank know whether you. we are supposed to agree, yeah. but <laughs> we can touch thank each you, other like that. You, now, Dr. listen, uh, I, I would like you to greet the people and tell them uh, a few things about yourself in this program. Most Kenyans know you, but it's good for them to hear. Uh, because what, what I like about you is that uh, it's like you are multi-purpose. You, you, are, you are in the church, but you are also impacting uh, the, the government in a way you're also in the business world. Can you just take some moment to introduce yourself? Thank you very much, Dr. Juguna. I bring greetings this afternoon to you, all of you Kenyans who are listening and who are watching us today. My name is Bishop Dr. Stanley Michuki. I'm born again, and uh, I love the Lord as my personal savior. And uh, I am the president of the Kenya National Congress of Pentecostal Churches in this country, um, an umbrella that uh, covers the new speaking, uh, those speaking new tongues. And uh, also, I have uh, um, an obligation and also responsibility of the church, HRCI, Hope Restoration Church International, mm -hmm. that is in this country and outside the country. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I am I'm a business. I'm a business. When it comes to business, I do kingdom business. I do training. I have uh, an institution known as Peace International Training Institute. In this mm -hmm. country, we train the caregivers and uh, home nursing. And we, we know that this is a demand we cannot meet in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what I'm doing at the time being. And also, I'm very much interested in governance. Yeah. Uh, because. When uh, we have good governance, uh, we, we enjoy the fruits of our river. Mm -hmm. And we enjoy to preach and, uh, and has the gospel. But when there is no peace, then uh, when it's caused by leaders, mm -hmm. leadership, then it is really yeah. something wanting. All right. There's something you did with the National Cohesion and Integration Commission. Can you tell us something about uh, your, your Mombasa meeting? And whether there are plans to hold uh, such a meeting maybe in Nairobi. Because Nairobi, you know, also many times can be a hotspot. Yes. And since uh, there's a government department charge with national cohesion and integration, uh, just tell us what was the experience in Mombasa? Two layers. Um, we are partners, actually strategic partners, yeah. with the national cohesion. Yeah. And uh, under the Ministry of Interior. And, yes. Uh, interior and coordination. And uh, our idea here is to partner with the government and, and especially the national cohesion in terms of peace. Uh, this is our second time the Kenya National Congress has entered into MOU with the national cohesion. And uh, 2013, 2012, we did the same. At this time, we are saying we have to speak it out that this is a campaign without norma. It should be a competition without bitterness. And so we had a meeting in Mombasa, November 26th, I remember very well. Mm -hmm. And this meeting was attended by the communities, the leaders, leadership this, those communities, Minjikenda, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. other, and other leadership. Yes. And also the administration. Yes. And uh, it was really meant for starting the journey. Yeah for the peace in for this country. Peace, yes. Our plan we have is to reach every, every county. Yes. But we thought the best thing is to bring the region together. The region together. Because when you touch the region leadership, yeah. Yeah. you are touching the community, the, the, the counties. Yes. And so that was the first meeting. We are also 
planning to have a meeting in Nairobi. In Nairobi, great. Yeah, where you say is a hotspot and everybody <laughs> is in Nairobi. Yes. So we, we, are trying, we are planning to do that and to include the community leadership and the politicians and also to pray for them. Yes, yes. Yeah, so that we can give them guidance. Yes. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. That's a great, uh, it's a great account. Now, as a person who has lived through all the administration, because you are there since the independence of this country, mm -hmm. uh, some of us, uh, by the time Kenya got independence in 1963, we were, we were quite young. But I still remember the celebrations uh, after being, uh, of course, liberated from the colonial rule and we knew that now time had come when people could, could just go without a passbook. I, I'm told there used to be passbooks, but, but maybe my parents carried them, but yes. for me I never, I mean I was, I was very young. Now, in your, in your, in your own thinking from, from of serving all that has happened in this country since the time of President Mzee uh, Jomo Kenyatta, then the season we went through President Daniel Rapmoy, the, the late. Then uh, the, 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 the former president, Mwai Kibaki, who, who ruled in 10 years. And now we have the presidency of Uhuru Kenyatta. What are two or three things you wish that were different in Kenya, but they have remained the same? Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Tari. I remember vividly well when we attained our dependent. I was in Star Reform. Yes. And we were taken from the school. I was schooling at Bagadi. It was known as King George. King George. Primary school. Yeah. And uh, I remember very well we were taken with a bus, mm. a van, to State House. Mm -hmm. And I could hear the guns. I was in Star Reform, so I was a mature yeah. person. And I have seen and I have known the government of... Uh, Kenyatta himself, the father to Huru. Mm -hmm. uh, that government was ruled by patriotism. Yeah. People are very patriotic. Yeah. People like, uh, like, uh, like, um, like uh, Bida de Kagia, mm -hmm. people like uh, Odinga himself, um, Jaramogi. Jaramogi. Those people are very patriotic, gay, and all those people, they were very patriotic. Yes. So they brought the patriotism to that generation. Yes. And you could hear the songs were really very different with VOK. All right. There was the voice of Kenya, which was really Kenya, Kenya, mm -hmm. Kenya, mm -hmm. Taifa, mm -hmm. something yeah. like that. It was so patriotic, patriotic. Yes. Songs were patriotic. And so the movement was patriotism, mm -hmm. loving their country. Loving their country. So it came a time now also during the, the Moi time. Yeah. Moi now changed your tune and said, follow me. Uh, and follow my steps. As uh, steps of the... Of the yes. Fuata nyayo, lakini nyayo ilikuwa ya mze. Ya nyayo. Ilikuwa fuata nyayo. Alikuwa na tuata mze na ya nyayo mpota yake. Yes. So there was a double. <laughs> uh, so this fuata nyayo went yeah. on. Yeah. People were still patriotic. Yes. And I think uh, uh, they, also, they also emulated the way Moy was doing, attending yes. the church services yeah. every yes. Sunday. Yeah. And if Moy would fail to go to church, yeah. uh, there are questions. Even uh, yeah. the media would be asking, what is happening? <laughs> we don't see the president in the church. Yeah. So it came a time whereby the economy was in trouble. Yeah. Because I think it was some of the people in that government missed yeah. the economy, which is very true. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember the, the insurance companies were mostly closed. Um, mm -hmm. to, to 2001, things were very bad, and people actually shifted from Kenya to Germany, to, West, to Western countries, to America. People, there was an exodus. People mm. left the country, actually, yes, left the country, only because there were hardships. Mm -hmm. Our economy was not very good. And I remember also he was very strong because the IMF had given uh, conditions that... Uh, he also, uh, 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 you know, dis, uh, you know, you know, remove the the civil servant from mm -hmm. the, you know, mm -hmm. reduce the civil servant, uh, the establishment, which he refused and he stand, he stood by. His. Moi was also very strong, 
and uh, we remained without donations, actually, uh, or the IMF, uh, you know, funding for mm. quite some time. Mm, yeah. yeah, for quite some time. And I said, no, I cannot compromise. He said, yeah. I will not remove my people. They will remain. Yeah. You, you remain with your money, yeah. you remain. Mm -hmm. Actually, this country was land out of hardships. Mm. But I remember, still, despite the 2000, and uh, the, despite those cr cr you know, crashes, who was future happening in the, mm. in the left valley, the, the, the country was still held, it was holding, mm. was still holding, even at that time. Mm. I remember even when the crashes were coming, it would happen like in about a time, the elders come together, mm. uh, both the, maybe, maybe Karajin and Kikuyu mm. and uh, mm. also in mm. Kisi mm. come together and say, no, we cannot continue doing that. Mm. So I think I've seen and I witnessed that government, I've witnessed the government of uh, Mwaiki Bake. Mm. And uh, it was really also shared government. And mm. I remember there were things that could be not be done without consultation. Mm. And finally, he ended up with his own term mm. uh, without Inuzumukate. And then he continued. And then mm. we can see the economy was yeah. really boosted. Mm. Uh, so I've seen now also the president, uh, Uru Kenyatta, mm. and uh, deputy president, whereby now we are, we are in a transition, transition yeah. which yeah. is... Uh, a very cru crucial, yeah. crucial mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. for, for the transition. And that's where we are now. Mm. Now, are. What, what are some of the things that, uh, the question I was asking, when you consider some of the things that have bedeviled the nation, what are two or three things that you say you wish we were doing differently that have hurt the nation? Yeah, one is corruption. Corruption. Corruption has eaten this country. Yes. Because corruption is only benefiting individuals. Yes. It's not benefiting the community. The community, yes. That's one. Number two, there is that lack of, um, lack of respect. Yes. Lack of respect to the position or the office. Mm. Like now, the office of the presidency mm. is a, a very, it should be a very respected uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, office. Mm. Because... The office of the presidency actually is the source of everything that we yeah. need in this country. Yeah. And again, it's also good to respect the presidency. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's, no, it's not good actually to hurt the leadership. No, no, <laughs> it's no. It's not no. good because uh, actually the Bible says in the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 13, I think, mm. it talks about how we should pray for our leadership and, uh, and uh, we should also respect the leadership. Yeah, uh, I, th I think this one is also very important. The other thing is about, um, you know, the the development, uh, taking care of the nation in terms of development, They're reaching the community because the vulnerable people are left alone. The poor. I don't think we are reaching the poor. Mm. We are not. Wow. We are not reaching wow. the poor because even church, mm. the good religion, uh, the Bible says, mm. is the religion that takes care of the window and the and the, the, the orphans. Mm. So the government has failed to reach the poor. Yeah. The poor are left because when you, when you see Mama Boga struggling, and uh, I thank God for the president when he introduced the Wazo Fund. That yeah. was very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Wazo Fund, where I was, I was a director of Wazo Fund, yeah. it, it, it helped very many poor mm. women and young people. Yes. And I don't know whether it's still, it's still there, but... Uh, I know the government has tried, but reaching that person, uh, it's a really a big problem because how these funds you reach that person, that is the question. Wow, yeah. I, I, I really like the way you have, uh, you know, categorized these things. And, and you Kenyans watching this program, we are speaking from uh, the leadership, church leadership perspective. Uh, both of us are bishops, we oversee people and we are coming to communicate our, the, the perspective in which we observe what is going on in this country. And my appeal, particularly for the younger generation, is to appreciate your country. Mm -hmm. Even if this country has so many issues and problems, but it's still uh, a beautiful country. Beautiful with great people, and therefore we need to be very intentional as we go into the seasons of 
the campaigns. And like I've said before, if there are, uh, there's a politician coming through your town that you don't like, that you can not even vote for, uh, one of the things you can do is to make sure you don't come out to the road. Yeah. You just go ahead with your business. Just go ahead as if there's nobody who is coming yeah. through. Because then we are not going to have stone throwing and other very, uh, you know, incidents that can only bring shame to, 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 to the, you know, shame to the nation. So I want to make a passionate appeal, particularly to our young people. Don't allow yourself to be weaponized by politicians. Yes. Because the problem, what you will discover is that you will, you will be fighting out there, but the same people, you will see them in parliament, sometimes they take coffee together, they talk so cordially, and you, you yourself uh, have, have, have messed up your relationship with your neighbors because you are fighting over these matters. So I think it, it is very, very important to make a decision that I am not going to be uh, weaponized by any politician. And uh, if those people who are keen on weaponizing our young people, if there's a way we can identify them so that they are shamed by the National Cohesion and Integration Commission. Because again, unless these commissions act quickly, it becomes a very, very big challenge. Uh, and uh, and it's, it's so, so, so important. So what we are appealing to you, these elections, campaigns are going on and they're going to be continuing. Can you ensure that we are not going to have uh, running battles, police trying to control order because uh, the, the, you know, a certain opponent has released young people to counter their competitor. These things are very primitive when they mm, happen. Mm, mm. And I pray that God would uh, ensure that some people would never, never, never uh, get to a place in which they can abuse power to hurt people because that is not what is pleasing in the eyes of God. Uh, now, uh, Dr. Michuki, you know, what is it that you can tell our young people? Because now you, Young people, we, we learned that about 74% of the Kenyan populace are below the age of 35. Mm -hmm. And that's a huge, yeah, huge, so, huge so, number. So, so what can you tell them about ensuring that they, they conduct themselves in a responsible way? Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, let me just address the young people. And uh, the young people are the backbone mm. for this country. And uh, I believe they can bring a change mm -hmm. through the ballot. It is only through the ballot you can bring changes. You can't bring mm -hmm. changes through throwing stones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The changes yeah. can always be caused by the ballot. Yeah. Stones should never be counted, <laughs> how many you have thrown. <laughs> The only <laughs> thing you be counted the ballots. Yeah. Even you love your candidate. Yeah. Let me tell you, young people, if you love your candidate mm. and you're not loving your candidate because you know how to abuse, you're not loving your candidate because he knows how to challenge others. If you love your candidate because of the manifesto and what this person has been doing and the track records mm. and what is really going to do for the nation. The mm. only thing you can really choose mm. that person mm. is through the ballot. Mm -hmm. And so my appeal to you, don't make, as Dr. Jogunan said, don't yeah. make yourself a weapon yeah. to position somebody to a mm. job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. When you do that, you are not going to blame yourself. Yes. Because you do choose the person of your choice. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's what uh, my, my appeal is. Wow, be. wow. That's a great appeal. And, and I think this is an appeal that we all are making. From wherever we stand, this is a great country. Please, we can't afford uh, to be con consumed by the spirit of Cain. Uh, because the spirit of Cain is a spirit that says you are not... Uh, you are not my brother's, I'm not my brother's keeper. 
And the, the, the spirit of Cain is where uh, brothers are fighting. And that spirit must be rejected within, within the political scene. And, and we must firmly deal with it and reject it. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a shame that instead of thinking how we can build each other, we compete in a, sometimes in very, very unprofessional ways. Like now, very soon, we know that uh, this has been given upon which electoral, uh, elect you know, the, the parties participating in the general election should be able to forward the names of the, the, the nominees. And, 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 and that this actually, uh, you know, is, is what, that's where chaos begins. Mm. Because especially, you know, there are some areas in this country, if you are in a certain party, as a, as, as a, if you have the nomination for a certain uh, party, party, because of the, it, it, can be, it is almost seen as a license mm. that you're going to win. Exactly. It should be. Uh, do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> you know. You assume. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because, because of the popularity. And uh, uh, we need to understand that we are one another's keeper. When you talk about the spirit of Cain, I like something that has been uh, stated uh, by uh, Ernest Agley. Uh, it's talking about the devil's spirit and the sins, the sins of Cain. After Adam and Eve sinned, God forced them to leave the Garden of Eden. And outside of the garden was uh, where they had their first son, Cain, Sadly, he did not become a son to be proud of because he took on the same devilish spirit as a serpent that had deceived Eve. One of the deceit is jealousy, envy, strife, violence, and murder. He gave himself over completely to Satan through lust, and he, he, and he loved everything but God. So Abel's, uh, of course, Cain's brother, was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was, was, uh, was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and of, uh, an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the first, uh, first ring of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. Now, if you, if you, so, so what we notice in the spirit of Cain is the spirit of Manda. Mm. So any time through a directorial uh, violence anybody is killed, that is the operation of the spirit of Cain. And we must reject it. Must reject it. Uh, because, uh, you know, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 4, verse 8, and Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up again against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Cain represented God, and he was jealous of Abel. But because of hard work, uh, you know, because, because, of course, he could not be able to, to, to justify the reason of how his brother had been favored, he just said, I'm going to kill him. And, and maybe we can talk this, this a little bit. Do you know the reason why you enjoy what you enjoy is God's favor? Yeah, it is. And God's favor is not bought. No, no. You are given it free. <laughs> <laughs> so whether people are going to despise you or not, if yes. you have God's favor, yes. everything will work for you. You don't have to fight for yourself. You don't have to fight for yourself. No, 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 no. So Kenyans, can we decide that this time around we are not going to fight? No. In any case, Who election is won by, uh, with a vote. Like uh, my friend uh, Bishop has said, stones are not what will be counted. And I must add for, the, for those politicians to hear, even insults that you insult your competitors not be counted. are not going to advantage you at all. Why don't we purpose that in this country we will not be controlled by uh, the spirit that controlled Cain uh, when he was being asked, where is your brother? 
and he started saying, am I my brother's keeper? Can we understand we have a responsibility to keep the peace of the country? Mm. Because it is only within the peace of the country, like Jeremiah uh, stated, that you and I can have peace. So, uh, just as we, 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 we are about to, what, what can be your appeal, again, to the politicians? Because you know them. Some of them are your friends, mm. some of them are my mm. friends. Mm. What can you tell these politicians who are going uh, and making some reckless statements? Our politicians are very good people. Yeah. Because they are members of the church, they are brothers. Yeah. They are business together. Yeah, yeah. And do a lot together with them. And I know they love this country. They love this country. So, and uh, they would like to rule people or to position themselves, the people mm. that mm. are not hurt, I'm not bleeding. Yeah. So my appeal to you, politicians, uh, be good. Uh, don't sharpen your tongues to insults. Mm. Talk nicely. Yeah. Who your voters with the good words and the manifesto. Tell yeah. them what you have been doing and what you intend to do. Mm -hmm. Advise them not to, to be emotional. And especially when you assume you have won. Don't start announcing yourself positions before the announcement is done. That's how you do a mistake. You assume you have won. You have not won until you have won. So don't allow yourself to pronounce words that can provocate, can bring provocation to other uh, opponents. Mm. Remember, you are not opponents. You are just mm. competitors. You are competitors. And when you compete and you, when you win, you celebrate winning. When and you as fail, you, as you're Kubari then when your friend wins, celebrate with him. Tell him, yeah. thank you in the Congress. I went to America, uh, Dr. Njoguna, <laughs> 2013. Yeah. And I want to tell you that. Mm. It, it seemed like there was no elections mm. because people were just cool. They were in their businesses. Mm. I, went to, I was invited into the State House and one of the offices in, in the White House. And I found these people are cool. Wow, wow. It's just that week they were doing the, 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 the elections. And yes. you could not know. Who won and do not win. So mm. I appeal to them that uh, they behave maturely uh, because this country belongs to them. Like Kenya will remain Kenya yeah. even up to this election. Yeah, as we, as we draw to the close of this program today, uh, if I would answer the question I'd ask, I'd ask my uh, uh, Fred Bishop, what bothers me in this country first is the, is that aspect of corruption and the fact that the cases of corruption are not fully prosecuted. So there are so many pending cases. Uh, the other thing is negative ethnicity. When we uh, blackmail each other and do things against each other, other uh, based on our tribal differences, and uh, this should not be the case at all. Uh, and we should not I have this as something that continues. So our appeal, the other thing that is very disturbing, of course, is the fact that uh, political, polit pol you know, political parties only serve a certain season and they are gone in terms of the strength. Right now, if we remember the way TNA and ULP came with strength mm. and they combined to form Jubilee, Jubilee, a very, very huge party. But now when we are going into another changed election, that, that party jubilee division has come and all that. So, but the key thing is, let us hold firm to knowing we have a country to defend. Let us be peacemakers. Like the Bible says in the book of Matthew 5, 9, let us make peace so that we are qualified to be referred to as the sons of God. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. We pray for the peace of this country. We thank you for the great counsel we have been given by your servant, the bishop. Remember our president, whatever he is. Remember his deputy, remember the cabinet, remember all that uh, are charged with the responsibility of running the affairs of the nation. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.